Paul and Silas in prison. Paul and Silas were telling others about Jesus when some of the people in the town became angry with them. The people had them arrested and beaten with rods. Then they threw Paul and Silas into prison. The jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. They put them deep inside the prison and fastened their feet so that they couldn't get away. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs of praise to God. The other prisoners in jail were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a big earthquake. It shook the prison so much that all the prison doors were opened and the chains fell off the prisoners. The jailer woke up and saw that all the doors were opened. He thought that all the prisoners had escaped and so he was about to hurt himself when Paul called out to him. He said, Don't hurt yourself, we are all here. <sighs> Holding lights to guide his way, the jailer rushed into the jail, trembling with fear. He fell down in front of Paul and Silas. He brought them out of their prison cell and asked them, What must I do to be saved? They answered and said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Paul and Silas went to the jailer's house and told his family about Jesus. His entire family was saved and baptized that night. The jailer and his family washed Paul and Silas' wounds and gave them a meal to eat. Paul and Silas had been thrown into jail, yet they had done nothing wrong. In fact, they were doing what God wanted them to do by telling others about Jesus. But instead of getting angry, Paul and Silas made a choice to rejoice. They prayed and sang songs to the Lord while they were in prison. We can choose to rejoice and worship God wherever we are and no matter what we are going through in life. It is pleasing to the Lord when we worship Him. It also helps us because it takes our eyes off of our problems and puts them on Jesus, who is the answer to all of our problems.